is this week's rally from the dollar yen built to last and will we get a retest of 152 or will this become a lower high following the sell-off earlier this month? I'll share my thoughts on that in today's video, including key levels and targets, also the latest on the DXY. Okay, so we have the dollar yen rallying higher this week and so far today breaking back above 148.35. So right now, the market is rallying above this key level right back here, which has been incredibly clean on the daily time frame, with the one exception right back here. But I'll explain in a moment why this was an anomaly, in my opinion, and why today's rally could be significant. But first, as always, if you guys are enjoying this content, be sure to subscribe to the channel and click that bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to, to smash the like button. So the reason that this back here, in my opinion, was an anomaly is the candle that preceded it. Okay, so this big green candle right here left behind a huge imbalance because anytime you get a large candle like this, chances are it tends to get filled. Okay, think back here, this green candle right here filled through this area, even back here on this breakout with this candle, this eventually filled as well. And you're even saying the same thing now with these big red candles from earlier this month where we're getting the fill of those imbalances. So in my opinion, this back here where you saw the, the dollar yen break above this, okay, close above it, close back below and then back above, this was due to this candle right here and the imbalance that had developed following that move. So in my opinion, what I'm getting at here is that today's move is significant in the sense that the market looks like it wants to close the week back above 148.35. Now, that could be significant going into the second half of this month because if we look at the weekly chart here for the dollar yen, we've talked about this before, but first of all, you can see that we have this massive potential ascending triangle that's developed ever since the high from back here in 2022. So the 152 level is significant for the dollar yen for obvious reasons here. And you can see where last month, the dollar yen failed to retest that level by 100 pips. So it came very, very close to that level, however, failed to test it. Now, when you combine that with this week's recovery, I think that could be significant because levels like this that go back several years and are incredibly clean tend to serve as magnets for price. So the fact that we didn't see the dollar yen test that level last month could be indicative of where this market is likely to go. In other words, another retest of 152. Now, furthermore, if you'll notice here, we had highs that developed about 100 pips below that level. So specifically what I'm referring to here is this consolidation that occurred. So between 149.7 and 150.9, this area of consolidation tells us that there are stops above these highs. So these were essentially equal highs. And anytime you get this, you know you can bank on the fact that there are going to be stops above these highs. Now, if we had seen the market retest here and then come back and spike above this level and then close back below, then that would be different because it would show you that the market took out the stops from back here on that first test. Okay, but it didn't. Instead, we got the market carving these equal highs, which again tells you that the stops that are up here from this first move are still there and markets seek liquidity. So liquidity, like the, the stops that are up here above these highs are also going to serve as a magnet for price. So we have two factors right now for the dollar yen that are telling us, in fact, three factors telling us that the market could be heading up here toward 152. The first one being that a big macro level like this, like at 152 that goes back several years, these tend to serve as magnets. Furthermore, you have the stops above these recent highs up here, this liquidity that is still intact. So two factors right there that serve as a magnet. And the, th the third factor that makes me think we could get that move higher is this move that we're seeing today. Okay, because the market is telling you that it wants higher at least back here toward these lows. Now, that's going to be a key factor as well for next week because this is going to be critical resistance for the dollar yen. And to really understand and really appreciate the significance of this area, we have to flip over to the US dollar index, the DXY. So this is something that I mentioned recently uh, in yesterday's video, but you can see where the DXY is breaking back above 103. So this has been a significant level for quite some time now. And you can see where following some consolidation down here, we are getting the break back above. So as of right now, this is a potential fake out here from the DXY. Now I say potential because the market has a huge test coming up in this mid 103 area. So all these highs back here and these lows, this is going to be a big test for the DXY. And in my opinion, this area around 103.8 most likely lines up with the dollar yen up here at these lows around 149.7.
So you can kind of see how all of this kind of lines up for next week, where even though we're seeing a bullish move here from the dollar yen, it does have a big test at those lows around 149.7, which also likely lines up with the DXY testing this area up here next week. Now, if we can see the DXY take out this area and close up here above 103.8, that would be a significant development for the DXY because it would indicate a turn higher up here toward the range highs that we've seen develop here over the last couple of years. So what I'm referring to is, and we've talked about this before on this channel as well, but if you'll notice back here, we had these highs and we had these lows. So this was very clearly a range that had developed for the DXY. And this move right down here was a fake out where we got the close above. And you can see that that is what triggered, that was the catalyst, the technical catalyst for a move all the way back here toward these highs and then some, because the DXY actually ran those highs, closed above this, and even though you can see these moves right here that dipped below this key level here on the daily, if you go to the weekly chart, you will see that this lines up perfectly on the weekly. So this level was being respected on a weekly closing basis back there. But the fact is that this right here was a fake out and this up here was a fake out. The market was essentially running the lows back here and up here it was running those highs. It's no coincidence that we saw this year start right here at those range lows. Okay, so the big takeaway here with the DXY with the dollar is that if we see it reclaim this area between 103.5 to 103.8, if it reclaims this over the coming days, in my opinion, and you look at this range here, in my opinion, that means that we are likely to see a run back here toward this high and potentially this area around 106. Okay, because consider this for a moment, right? Everybody's looking at this recent move from the DXY and expecting it to completely fail. And I get it. There's a lot of hate out there for the dollar. You know, let's just speak honestly for a second. There is a lot of hate for the dollar. Um, you know, for good reason, for the, for the most part. Um, but we also have to look at what's happening on the chart. So far, we have this move down here, and we've had the reclaim above 103. If you'll notice back here, we had the move above this 104.5 area, the close back below. So this was a fake out down here. This right now is a fake out. This too was a fake out. Okay, so we had the low right here, the reclaim. Notice what got tested as new support right here. That gave us the rally. Okay, so you've got to pay attention to these things because it is telling you what the market is likely to do next. There are no guarantees, but regardless of your thoughts on the dollar, whether you you know like it or hate it or you're neutral toward it, the chart is showing you that the dollar wants higher. Okay, because one thing that we have to consider is everybody right now is looking for the DXY to make a lower low after this move up here. So in other words, they're looking for something like this from the DXY. However, consider this. This right here, okay, given that range that we just looked at, right? This was the range that we looked at previously, this right here could be the impulsive move, this the correction, and this could be the next impulsive move. So you have to stay on your toes here and weigh out all scenarios. And this area up here, again, is going to be critical for the dollar. So circling back here toward the dollar yen, guys, just to go ahead and wrap up again, today's move, you know, moving back above 148.35, I think that is going to be significant, especially because we're coming into the weekly close. And we've got two factors that could serve as a magnet for the dollar yen. We've got that macro level at 152. We've also got those stops that are still intact above those highs above 150.9. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to claim your 70% off VIP access for daily videos, my help with your trading, see my trades in real time, including what I put on this week on the pound that is in profit and much, much more. Have a great weekend, guys. I will talk to you again tomorrow in the weekly forecast.